It's Church back with another one. Today we're gonna be looking at the King Song S16. Now this is the new newest wheel from King Song, and this is their newest iteration of the popular selling 16-inch series of wheels from King Song. So they had the King Song uh, 16S, and then they had the King Song 16X, which were both really good popular 16-inch wheels. And so now this is their new one to the market. It has some interesting stats behind it. It looks pretty interesting. Let's get into it. Let's look at it. Let's talk about it. This is what the King Song uh, S16 is going to look like. It's going to look very similar to the King Song S22 and S22 Pro and the S19. So they're kind of keeping the same looking design. You got the coil suspension back here, but this is going to be a smaller wheel. This is going to be the perfect size for commuting in the city. The the number one wheel that I put the most miles on when I lived in Denver was that King Song uh, 16S. I rode that thing everywhere. Small, compact little wheel. You really can't beat the 16 inch size if you're just trying to commute around the city. You're just trying to run errands, maybe just trying to go to work, go to class, whatever it may be, and maybe run to the grocery store or something. You don't want something extremely heavy. You don't want something too fast. And you just want, you know, a, a electric unicycle for what they were originally intended to be is, you know, last mile commuter vehicles in the city. And this is a 16 inch wheel is that this is what you want. If that's if that's what you're going for, just a commuting vehicle to get around, run your errands, go to the grocery store, go to work real quick. You know, if you live in the inner city, this is perfect. And having suspension now is a game changer, man. I'm telling you, you really do. Um, now that suspension is available on a lot of wheels, this is going to be one of the lightest weight suspension wheels out there. It's going to be perfect for uh, kids. It's going to be perfect for beginners. And it's going to be perfect for, you know, just the people that want suspension at a low price point without having something that goes 60 miles per hour everywhere. So I, I got high hopes for this thing. I think they're going to are really going for a part of the market that needed to be hit um, and needed a new wheel. So this, that's definitely how I see it. Let's see right here. I want to, I'll move this over. So these are the stats on this thing. So it's going to be 1,480 watt hours, 2,800 watt motor on this thing, you know, 33.3 kilos, which I think is under 70 pounds. So this is what is really, really the key feature about this wheel guys this is going to be perfect i'm telling you if you want suspension without having something that's an extreme type of wheel if you just want something to be able to ride off curbs be able to just cruise over potholes be able to cruise around the city you know cruise sidewalks etc this is what you want it's not you know too fast too intrusive too big etc and i think it'll get the job done for a lot of people if they make this thing refined if it comes out and it has no problems and it really you know shines throughout the whole testing phase they're going to sell like hotcakes because this is back to the basics of what a lot of people really want in an euc and the wheels i racked up the most miles on were those little 16 inch wheels man the 16x the 16s and they didn't even have suspension this one has about 300 more watt hours than the King Song 18S. So that's that suspension wheel right now, you know, kind of the low end suspension wheel. Um, this is going to be competitive environment, though. You got the B Goat Extreme coming out. You got um, you got the In Motion Adventure coming out. But I think those are going to be priced upper to the $3,000 price point. So if you if you want to get something and you're trying to get something for your kids or you're just getting into the hobby or you're let's say under 140 pounds this you can get a lot of performance out of guys because what really happens it, this is kind of the the problem you'll run into if you're a heavier weight person the low watt hours in combination with, with the low motor power it makes the wheel struggle if you're a heavier weight person. That's why I don't recommend the King Song S18 to um, a lot of people out there that are heavier weight people. Now, I think if you're a smaller person or you're a, a kid, it's perfect because you, it's not the wheel's not having to struggle because you don't have a lot of weight on it. You know what I mean? But at the lower 
at the lower watt hours and the lower motor power, the heavier weight you are, you really need to watch out. So that's why I'm saying it still is perfect for beginners if you're an adult and you're heavier weight, but you just can't expect to lean, get that torque and acceleration you would expect out of a lot of the other wheels you're seeing on the market, okay? So you just got to know what you're getting when it comes to this wheel. Okay, so it's going to have a smart battery management system in this thing, you know, 1480 watt hour, like I said, it's going to have the LG 21700 cells on this thing, and it's going to it's going to come with a 5 amp charger on, with this wheel, and a lot of people are like, oh, it's just 5 amps, so, you know, that's not fast charging. But you got to think about this. It's only 1,480 watt hours, so you should be able to charge up at 5 amps in like 3 hours on this wheel. Um, so that's one thing to kind of note there. I think it, it'll charge plenty fast. I think it I think it will be, um, I think it'll be the right wheel for a lot of people out there, surprisingly. I'm liking the, the anodized orange look on this thing. I'm really, really liking that, the whole anodized um, body on this thing. The machining looks... A little bit better the machining on this honestly looks a little bit better than the s22 and the s22 pro and in, in, in the actual final pictures it really does I'm liking the flat sides on this the speaker back here is out of the way so you'll be able to put whatever power pads you want to on the side on the Kingsong s19 the speaker is kind of in the way of the rear um, of putting on any rear power pads and I don't like that design on the s19 um, but this one I'm really liking, you know, that this is out of the way because on a smaller wheel, power pads are important, man. With a small wheel, if you get good power pads on that thing, you can just, you know, since it's a low weight, you can just almost just jump up in the air with good power pads and just fly as high as you, you can jump, basically, you know what I mean? So that's a, a really good thing about these low weight wheels. So here's a, a picture of it. Um, we're seeing kind of the same exact pedals as the S22 and S22 Pro. Not identical, but very similar pedals. Same mounting system right here, how it kind of mounts to the side of, of where the batteries are encased in here. Uh, again, that anodized orange aluminum body is very, very cool. I, I'm liking that. This is important, guys. This is one of the biggest overall improvements that I've seen and that no one's talking about. Look at where this mounts. So see this suspension arm, how it comes up, and it mounts right here straight to the top of the machine. So on the S22 Pro, it comes under here and has a, a arm that comes under, and it screws down, and it's just kind of a, it's a very bad mounting bracket system. This is a much cleaner design. This mounts straight to the top frame right here. This is all nice CNC aluminum, I, I assume, or CNC metal, and then it mounts straight to this. And that's just a clean design that's just going to work way better. Okay, here we go. Check it out. So this is what I'm talking about. So you can see under here. This is how the suspension arm is mounting on this wheel. Look at this, how much better of a design this is. If you look at the S22 Pro, that whole it has a whole extra linkage that goes under here that's really not needed at all. It just is an extra piece where for screws to come loose, to, you know, break, whatever it may be. This is a great s s way to mount this suspension linkage right here. Just straight to the top right here and this, you know, nice mounting points. I I'm liking that. That's one thing that really caught my eye. From the top down, it looks very similar to the S22. You know, from the top down, same type of front bumper on this thing. Same sort of trolley handle on this. Um, same type of... Uh, you know, kickstand on the back, same, you know, pretty much same kickstand on the back right there. The headlights, I'm liking the new headlights, definitely new headlights compared to the S22 and S22 Pro. Um, they look brighter. They got like a unique kind of LED design to them. Um, check it out. Yeah, you know, kind of a different lighting pattern on it, you know, it looks very unique. I'm liking that. I'm liking the top, uh, how this is just kind of sealed up in here. I don't know where the power, I guess the power button would be under here somewhere, like under this, similar to the S22. But looks like a good wheel, man. It, I think this will be, it, it'll be perfect for the people that don't want the heaviest, fastest wheel on the market, but they just want a suspension commuter wheel. And that's, man, like, 
1480 watt hours for just running around the inner city is really all you need in a day i mean it really is all you need for example like the king song the 16s and the 16x man those were just two wheels i piled miles on like crazy dude and it wasn't because you could get a ton of range in one go it was just because they were convenient the convenience factor just being able to grab them every day and go grab them every day and go and i think if you had this wheel and a bunch of other wheels you know and you lived in the inner city and you just needed to commute a few miles you'd probably be grabbing for this one just because it has suspension it's small convenient easy to take you know inside of work put under the under the desk take into class take on the public transport um, the smallness of the 16 inch wheels and now having suspension on it i think people are going to like that so let's look at some other stuff on this you got the it says 50 kilometers an hour max speed on that we'll have to see i'm liking it though so the whole the whole idea behind this is being you know be swift be affordable but it's basically they're just going for a small compact 16 inch suspension wheel you know and this thing has a lot of travel dudes 88 millimeters of suspension travel is nice it's hitting per, for the per, sheer performance junkies out there you know and we're getting away from kind of what eucs used to be all about we're kind of branching into now we just look at eucs as the next performance thing as the next you know what's going to be the most powerful most you know fastest thing out there when eucs in reality used to all be about a commuter vehicle and we don't even look at that the community now is just all about performance um, you know, all about the next fast thing, which I'm all about. I love, you know, fast EUCs, high performance EUCs, but you got to look at where, where they started. You know, it started as a commuter vehicle that replaced my skateboard. And for a lot of people that replaced their bicycle and replaced, you know, you know, their car for just getting to work and back home. So, and that's what a lot of people still use them for. A lot of people, you know, don't wear all their gear and don't ride at 50 miles an hour and just want something to that has suspension to get back and forth to where they need to go and that's it so i think it will sell it just has to if it's a suspension wheel that's lower priced than all the other suspension wheels out there it will sell but the other you know if the other wheel like for example if the in motion adventure comes out and that thing's like 2200 bucks which i don't think it will be i think it'll be more like three thousand dollars plus or like, I think all the suspension wheels that are going to be coming out are going to be, like, you know, near $3,000 or more. So, this will be the most affordable suspension wheel. So, keep that in mind. Look at that. That's a lot of suspension travel we're going to have on this little tiny wheel right here. So, as of right now, the pre-orders aren't even live for this wheel. But over the next week or so, they should be going up on a lot of the websites. Um, I'm eager to get one to test. I would. I really think this will be a, a shining star. I mean, because... The other, the 16S and the 16X, man, I'm telling you, were just hits when it comes to King Song's best-selling wheels. And I just really think that's why they, you know, did another 16-inch wheel like this with suspension because I think this is honestly what a lot of people are looking for. But it has to be priced right. You cannot be coming out with something like this, you know, for $2,000 whenever you can, say, get say if the adventure released and was just $2,500, it'd be so hard to go with something like this as opposed to like the InMotion adventure for just $500 more. But I don't think that. Like I really think that this genuinely will be the lowest priced suspension EUC by a long shot, which will be the selling factor of it. So if you want to get one, the link's below, guys, to purchase any electric unicycle or pre-order it by the time you see this video could be already up for pre-order by now um but um if you want to get any euc out there any electric unicycle any e-scooter use the links below it gives me a little kickback and no extra cost to you and i greatly appreciate that but this is a first look at the king song s16 got high hopes for the little thing but anyways it's been chooch i'll see you in the next one peace